Hi there, my name is Kaylee. One more time, one more time. <clears throat> Hi there, my name is Kaylee. My name is Shay. And we're tackling some big debt. In the big apple. <laughs> there you go. We're doing an April closeout. Yes, we are. Just like we promised. Just like we promised. Here's what it will include. A rundown on the annual goals, where we're at with those. Mm -hmm. And I want to do an overview of our spending and to see what we spent money on. I, I, think don't, I don't know. I wasn't there. April was a standout month in many ways. Was it? I yeah. guess we'll find out. Because, I, I, again, I don't know what happened. Okay. I was not there. Let's start with the annual goals. Yes. The things that we track monthly, but we're working on annually. Shall we? The yawning. You oh, only sorry. <laughs> you only yawn when we're filming videos. That Any is other time, incorrect. You don't I am yawn. a very yawny human, and you just don't notice it most of the time. Let's look, shall we? Yes. All right. Wedding fund. We're getting married, mm -hmm. and it costs money. Yes, it does. Uh, as of March, we had ten thousand two hundred fifty-one dollars saved. I will say the savings has slowed mm -hmm. um, a lot. Yes. Because we kind of hit our initial goal. Yeah. Uh, and then Shay has not been working her side job of acting any it, recently. Because mm -hmm. we're getting ready to get married. Yeah. $10,483.07. It's pretty good. It's less exciting now. Yeah. <laughs> it is less exciting now. But we did really well. We did really well. Very proud of us. Down payment savings, we have not started yet. Yes. Um, you probably see this number begin in June. Yes. I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Once we, you know, have not a wedding and a honeymoon have to pay for. Have not a wedding and a honeymoon to pay for. Yep. Maybe drill along. Uh, <laughs> um, fully funded emergency fund. Those who have been around already know, but I'm going to repeat it anyway. Not something we are actively, actively saving for, but mm -hmm. I do roll the high yield savings account interest just into this category. Yes. Because it has to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. $2,702.02. $2 we started keeping a lot more money in the high yield savings account. Mm -hmm. We've been moving some more stuff in there and trying to store some cash in there. So the interest went up. Yeah. Which is good. Very cool. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Fat fire. Uh, this was a tough market month. Yes. Um, in a lot of ways, the market had a little bit of a dip. It seems to be recovering now, but a lot of our uh, money that we base... For those who don't know, FIRE is financial independence, retire early. Mm -hmm. um, and fat FIRE means you have so much money you never have to think about anything ever again. Um, and we're not going to hit that, but it's fun to think about. Uh, and so when the market dips, this number dips because that's where all our retirement savings lives. Yes. Um, and it actually, unfortunately, went down $1. Exactly $1, which is weird. Um, but it's already recovered. Yeah. Like, it's already back up. So I'm not super worried about this. Mm -hmm. Um it's just that's everybody's the whole thing yeah. just went down a little bit last month and it'll it's recovering already mm -hmm. um i'm also doing some things to try to get out i have a lot of my company stock um and because they you know as part of my compensation i'm given stock and stuff and mm -hmm. i'm trying to i have it doesn't make me feel comfy to have my income and my you know my stock account all linked up to the one company which like i, I work for a good company it's going to go on forever but mm -hmm. i don't I don't necessarily need my entire net worth tied to the performance of one company, you know? So yeah. I'm this, I may make some moves on that front here shortly. Mm -hmm. Annual income. This is both of our annual gross income rolling. Yes. So I always say this always, but I just want to be very clear. We did not make $34,000 in March. Yes. But as of March, we had, all, had made $34,000 gross income. Yes. That's before... Taxes, that's before our retirement, that's before my student loan payment, that's before, you know, like, our, our take home is not this. Yeah. By a bit. Yeah. Our insurance, like, everything. Um, so, that it was, as of April, mm -hmm. as of the end of April, $44,856.41. Heck yeah. It's not bad. Not bad at all. It's not bad. Pretty good, in fact. Downright, downright pretty good. My student loan balance, when the market goes down... Does not impact this, which is good because mm -hmm. that means at least progress is progress. It helps offset some of that. We were at 142. Nice. A decent, a decent jump. We had a good April as far as student loans go. Yes. Put an extra like four hundred dollars towards the student loans in April. Yeah. That was a big one. So that was. Yeah. Because our our uh, our 
monthly challenge was highly successful. Yes, it was highly successful. I also got to move us out of the way so we can see. Last month, our estimated payoff was October 2038, mm -hmm. which is a little farther than I want it to be. And not, I think they'll be paid off before then. But as of the end of April, estimated payoff was August 2038. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take that. I don't plan on spending 14 years on these things. No. Nope. But. No, we have a house to buy. But I'll take that. Yes. I'll take that. That's pretty good. Net worth. This is our net worth. Mm -hmm. This includes assets and liabilities, and you do the math. Um, we don't have very many assets, but we certainly got some liabilities. Yep. It was at negative 75,455. Like I said, the market made this tough. Even though we had a really good student loan month, it's still... Mm -hmm. Went down a little bit. Yeah. Um, what it, are you gonna do? It it will okay. it'll make it seem like we did really good in May when the market recovers a little bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that just kind of is what it is. Mm -hmm. I try not to get too worked up about the net worth month to month, mm -hmm. as long as it's progressing year over year, yeah. which it very much is. So we started at the beginning of this year. You can see that we were just under ninety thousand, and we're like, we're making progress. So. Hoping to be worthless soon. Worth exactly zero dollars. <laughs> yeah. We're getting there. We're making great progress on it, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> we will be worthless so soon. So soon. <laughs> it sounds funny, but like, by God, wouldn't it be nice to be worth nothing? Yeah. Instead of negative. We're getting there. We are. We're getting there. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to take a look at what we spent money on last month? Sure. I'm a little scared. I'm not. I think that we actually did very well. We'll on see. everything except for the groceries. And we'll April. see. These are YNAB reports. If you're new here, oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Um, these are YNAB reports. If you're new here and you just kind of stumbled upon this, YNAB, as you can see around me, this is called You Need a Budget. Mm -hmm. And it's a budgeting app that I have a problem with. I love it. I'm addicted. It's changed my life in several ways. Mm -hmm. um, Shay is little by little getting one over. Little by little, we're getting there. It's great. It's wonderful. I like to stare at it all day long. And if you're interested in trying it out, you get one free month. And if you sign up using my link below, you get a free month. And then if you actually decide to, you know, put your card down and, and pay for uh, the app, then we both get another free month. So yes, check it out. Or don't. I'm gonna keep using it. Um, I don't want to look at March. I want to look at just April, April 2024. Whew. That's with a vacation. Yes. That's with a vacation, so I'm yeah. not super mad at it. Bills. Much bills. Rent. Pay rent. Student loans. So this is above and beyond. So my student loan money comes out of my paycheck before it enters this budget at all. It actually never hits my spending budget. So this is all money that uh, was extra. Yeah. Which is which cool because we're putting like 1200 bucks a month. To the student loans. Yeah. So this was extra from, you know, people who are wonderful and donate to our buy me a coffee. Yes. And we did a monthly challenge to save a bunch of money and put extras. So and it's like almost 50-50 that. We did yeah. quite well. We did pretty good. It was a pretty good month. Yeah. I'll take that. I love that. Um, that's our gym. Con Ed. This is power, gas, and electric. I, I, therapy. Oh, we went three times. That's good. We've been trying to, to be good about going to, uh, to therapy because a healthy relationship is only as healthy as your conversations. <laughs> and and it's not for any problem, but we've been going and we've been enjoying it quite a lot. And yeah. I am just a busy little bee and it's hard for us to both be in the same room at the same time, but we really prioritized it. And I did, we did do one therapy while I was at in the electrical closet of one of the stores that I support, but yes. By God, are we doing it? Yes. Uh, my phone bill is what it is. Fios, all that stuff. Okay, yes. so bills. It was what what they was. <laughs> all right, life. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Our, don't, uh, I was gonna say, what do you think our biggest category was? And I realized you could see it. Um, groceries was tough last month. It was. I like. I'm really thinking that you know when we're planning on doing like a mid year check in on our spending and seeing how things are going, and I'm really thinking it may be time to up groceries a little bit. So we overspent by like a hundred, almost a full week's worth of groceries we overspent. Mm -hmm. We were traveling a bit and we bought more groceries than we usually do. And we also probably bought more groceries than we usually do because we weren't spending any money. On True. We didn't eat out even out. once yeah. um, because that was our challenge last month. Mm -hmm. So that was probably part of it for sure. Yeah. But still, I'm noticing consistently we seem to overspend on groceries a little bit. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's just something I want to make note of. Yes. And when we do our little 
yeah. looked back. Because that was like half of mm -hmm. the life money that we spent last, well, it was exactly 46% of the life money that we spent last month mm -hmm. was just groceries. Yeah. So six twenty three fifty eight for two people in New York City is not bad. <laughs> like, it's downright good. Especially people who love to eat. <laughs> yeah, we don't eat, we don't eat cheap. We're not rice and beans people. No. So I, this is good. Yeah. Like objectively, it is very good. Yes. Three hundred dollars a person. I think for a month of food yeah. is actually crazy, considering how good Shay is at cooking and how good our meals are. I'm also good at cooking, but she just does it so much more often than I do. <laughs> I just want to give you props. Thank like you. we eat really well. Yes. Which is something we've always wanted to do. Which is something we've always wanted to do. So that's why I'm like, maybe we just like own this. Yeah. And maybe we want to bump it up, but we'll look at it in June. Yeah. When that time comes. Uh, date night. We spend almost our whole budget on date night. Yeah, it's we went to a lovely meal, mm -hmm. and what else did we do? Um, yep, we took our friends out. Yeah, twice. Twice we took we took we Shay had some friends from college who came and stayed with us for a weekend, and we went out to dinner, and then we went out to breakfast the next day, mm -hmm. and that was super worth it. I had a wonderful time. And yes, very yeah. much so. And then um, date night doesn't count as eating out, so our eating out challenge we had a little pizza pizza night at home and it was rad <laughs> yes it was and even though both of our dates were with other people i felt very awesome last yes. month about that yeah it so was very good we spent 174.54 with of a budget of 175 so we killed honestly mm -hmm. my fun money i overspent because something came out that i forgot about and i didn't know where else to put it so that's okay your fun money 150 i'll give you an extra four bucks next month mm. <laughs> booze art Goal for booze is one hundred dollars. Yeah. So this we've been so good about this. Yeah. We've actually been so good about this. Yeah. Me I'm too. feeling really great about that because we, you know, I just trying to be more intentional and having a good time and that's yeah yeah yeah. Transportation we underspent quite a lot because we had a, we were also, a we were, magical month of uh, infinite money glitch on our future card. Our, but also I was we were gone for two weeks. That's true. Yeah, we didn't really go anywhere. Yeah. Um. Haircut, I got a haircut. Tickets, you went and saw a show. Yep. 1999 on vitamins and supplements. That's so exact. I love that. Yeah, I love like, it. A, like I said, standout month in many ways. Yeah, wow. Okay, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot. This is this is honestly going great only because I like reminding myself that we did good. <laughs> yes. Travel, it's all one thing. It's just, we. it goes into the travel category. Yeah. We went um, to California to see my family and have our wedding shower, and that's how much it cost. Mm -hmm. We budgeted seven fifty, so we were over a bit, but yeah. not so less over. than a hundred dollars. Yeah. So, and we're still we, we ballparked seven fifty. We just kind of made that up. Yeah. So I feel really great about that. Yeah. Sink the funds. Um, it was actually six hundred and twelve dollars and thirteen cents, but it inflowed um, from our savings account. Mm -hmm. We both had multiple fillings and um, got like. Uh, cleanings all and, kinds of stuff yeah. in our, our teeths so that was expensive mm -hmm. but well, it's teeth you gotta do it yeah um shay's roth ira 75 dollars mm -hmm. medical 43 47 i had one appointment i had a prescription and then another prescription so not not terrible this will probably i'm probably gonna have to spend some when i go back to the doctor next week mm -hmm. but we got we got money for that yeah sink the funds household <laughs> she bought a rug some flowers and a small pretty box do you want to show them the box <laughs> what i stayed within budget that's true she stayed within budget all this money was available at the time that it was spent i think except for maybe small no all of it Shay bought this box. What's in the box? Uh, incense and candles and, and tarot cards. And tarot cards. Lots of lots of. This is a junk box. No. It's a, a box of of. It's just a. I, <laughs> I like the box. It's a good box. It's a great box. It's a, it's a pretty Very box. It looks nice really nice. Box. And having all those things in this box versus just on a shelf in our living room does look way better. Mm -hmm. Um, and the rug I showed everyone on Friday. Yes. And the flowers. These are old. These flowers are dead now. Yes. They were eaten by cats. We're on a mission to find cat-proof flowers. That's that's pretty house. She enjoys spending that category. I do. Household fixtures we overspent a bit. Yes. Why? Because we got the fan. 
This is the fan. Yes. We, we bought a fan. And mm -hmm. we needed a fan. We did. So we overspent a little bit. Yeah. Household consumables, we overspent a lot. Oh, it's because you needed, um, never mind. You got some makeup and stuff. I did. Ideally, this category would be rolling, but it's been not rolling. Yeah. You know? We gotta figure this out, too. We gotta yeah. take a look at spending on this. We should also look at that one in June when that time comes. Because so, uh, groceries and a household. Groceries and household. We'll write that down. I know we'll write it down, but it's also... Itty committee. Cat travel. Um, the cats didn't go anywhere, but we did, and mm -hmm. I paid my brother $100 to stay in our house with them while we were away. Yes. I think he'd do it for free, but that makes me feel bad. Yeah. So, you know. So, we pay him $100 and we get him sprites and he gets to watch television on our big TV. Yeah, he gets to live alone in an apartment with the cats and he loves those little cats. He does. He's really sweet about it. Yes. His nicknames for them is really cute. Mm -hmm. uh, and now he's got lots of opinions about the arrangement of our furniture. And he's right, unfortunately. He is. Um, cat food, $42.30, yeah. probably about the same this month, I should probably check. Yeah. Uh, cat litter, thirty nine eighty. When you have three cats, you spend a lot more on litter. It just is what it is. Yeah. Um, I'd rather my house, I'd rather spend extra money on litter than my house smell like litter, you know? Yeah. Um, and meow box, we pay that, we get that quarterly, it's treats and toys mm -hmm. and fun things for them. Um. We haven't gotten that yet, have we? You're right, we're still waiting on that. They, they did email me and say there would be a delay. Okay. Um, I'll just, I'll log in after this and we'll take a look and see. All right. Because we should have it coming soon. Cool, cool, cool. M. Kitty, savings. We put $52 towards Wyatt. Mm -hmm. And we spent twenty six sixty one. Ah. And we bought coffee for our photographer at our first photography meeting for the yes. week. I remember now. And this little slither is clothing. You brought a sweater. I bought a shirt for the wedding shower, and you yes. bought a sweater um, for life. Yes. That's all the money we spent. Yeah. That's actually crazy. I. You're super right. You're super right. That was a, a great month. In many ways, it was a standout month. Yes. Yeah. And even the things that we overspent on, I don't feel like there was a bad purchase. Of the, like a, there was no silly girly fee. No silly girly fee happening in the month of April. None. Yeah. So, I'm Hold feeling. On. I don't know, what's, what's quite this? good about that. Put us back. I'm gonna put us over here. Trends. Oh, let's look at trends. I wanted to see this year. Oh. Whoa! What's all this? I don't. That's not my business. Um. In March, we spent a lot of money on bills. Reimbursement parking. It was taxes. Oh. Okay. All right. We're done with this. This is just us goofing now. Yeah. This was fun. It was fun. This was helpful to re like recontextualize. In my mind, I was like, meh, April, whatever. But like, actually, we did a lot of good stuff, and we, we our spending was worth it, and we did good. I think we made a lot of excellent choices in April, and yeah. we had a very successful month. The market did not have a very successful month, but, but that's we not did. Our we business. had a successful. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. What should we carry with us into May? I think one thing that I can carry with me into May is looking at um, the app while I'm out. Mm -hmm. That was very helpful in helping me make informed purchasing decisions. Yeah. She texted me. I'm going to – can I post a screenshot of the text she sent me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she texted when she was out buying a rug and she texted me. You can see it now. Look, I am a god. <laughs> Except, I was so proud of myself. Because she accidentally sent it to her siblings first and then – Talk to her siblings about YNAB. Yeah, I did. So that was fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that's one thing I can take with me into May. What about you? I'm just really, this conversation has been really kicked off like in my head about reevaluating the targets, about where they're at and making sure that our spending, because when our spending is intentional and when our spending follows our values, I feel way better about it. Mm -hmm. Like I, when I don't spend, when I spend money on things that I care about and that we both care about, I don't feel bad about spending that money. But yeah. when I'm like just blowing through the eating out budget because it is there and because we can, mm -hmm. then I do feel bad about it. You know, even though the money is available and that's what it's set aside for, I don't value it in the same way. Whereas yeah. all the money we spent last month, like for the most part, but like all the, like spending $175 on date night in the way that we did it, mm -hmm. I feel great about. But if we had spent that $175 on just like, mcdonald's and taco bell i would not feel as good about it even though it's the same dollars yeah so i 100 percent agree yeah so yeah that's what we're gonna carry into may yeah april was a good month yes it was it was a great month 
I hope your April, April was great. Mm -hmm. And if your April wasn't great, I hope your May is great. Yes. And if your April was great, I hope your May is greater. Yes. <laughs> That's all from us. Have a wonderful rest of your week. We will see you on Friday. On Friday. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. It doesn't keep going. Okay. Now we know.